the the supremacy of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, not of Jesus peace be upon him. Because if you read in the Bible, the Bible itself says in the Gospel of John, chapter number 14, verse number 28, that my father is greater than I. John chapter number 10, verse number 29, my father is greater than all. John chapter number 5, verse number 30, I can of my own self do nothing. I cast out devils with the Spirit of God. Whatever he does is by the will of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Whatever miracles I do is testifying that I am a messenger of God Almighty. So whatever he did was by the will of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Even when he raises up Lazarus from death, if you read the Bible, he weeps. Oh my God, thou hearest me always. Thou will hear me even now. He's crying to God Almighty to bring that person back to life. He does not do it. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala does it. So all the miracles done by all the prophets were testifying the supremacy of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. It does not prove one prophet greater than that. Oh, that's the question. Walaikum as -salam. I'm Shamshad Ahmad. Uh, you have already asked some of my, answered some of my questions. One question I would like to ask is, uh, you said the Christian missionaries are successful in converting a lot of uh, non-Christians uh, to Christianity, whereas we are not successful. Well, the Christians, missionaries, they deal with uh, people below the poverty line. What is the answer to that from our side? Well, that's the question. The Christian missionary, they are converting non-Christian to Christianity because they deal the people below poverty line. Mostly. Mostly. Why aren't you doing that? Who's stopping you from doing that? Don't we have the petrodollars? Aren't, aren't we Muslims rich? <laughs> we have all the petrodollars. We have the black gold with us. Why aren't you doing that? See, we should not convert anyone with the money. But if they can do it, why can't you do it? When you say that they are using money power to convert the poor people, have you made an effort? Have you made an effort to use your money to give to the non-Muslims? Don't force them to convert. What they do, you don't have to imitate them. Don't force them to convert. Have you used your money to do tawa to the poor people? Have you used? No. Why? I do agree they use deceit. They use wrong method to convert. With their falsehood, with using wrong method when they are successful, why aren't you successful, brother, with the truth? Don't we have the haq with us? Do we have, do you know? Do we have the haq or no, brother? We have. So with the haq, why can't you convert? Who's to blame? We are to blame. Not our religion. We are to blame because we are not doing jihad. We aren't striving the way of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. We only give excuses why is that man successful. Who's stopping you? Who's stopping us? They with their falsehood when they can convince the other people and the misconception that they are only doing it to poor people. They are even converting rich people. I do agree most of them are poor people. You know these Christian missionaries? They come from foreign countries and they live in the villages of India. They spend 10 years, 20 years in the villages of India doing what? They call it social service. You know, they leave the advanced country and they come in villages and do social service for what? How many Muslims do you know doing that? How many? Hardly. There are a few, Alhamdulillah. Hardly anybody. <laughs> Why? What is stopping us? When they can do with their falsehood and wrong techniques, why can't we use the right techniques and win over them truthfully? Unfortunately, brother. We have to start immediately. Otherwise, you are not fit to be called Kuntum Khairamati. Assalamu alaikum. I'm Khalil So this is a little bit politics. BJP is getting stronger day by day. So if you can ask questions on dawa or destruction, it will be preferred. If you want to ask a question no. on politics, go and ask a politician. No. I'm not a politician. No, we as Muslims, what should we do to stop this? Kindly advise with Quranic reference if any. So they ask a question. Now what to do about BJP? Why to so don't stop them? Why to stop them? 
<laughs> but they think that BJP is anti-Muslim, therefore I have to stop them. Whether this BJP or Shushan are calling me to give lectures in Bombay, Alhamdulillah. So if you stop them, then I have to stop giving lectures in Bombay. Anyway, that's just part of it. See, brother, you have to dawa. You have to stop them. You have to get them towards the truth. The problem is I have to stop them. Get them towards truth. People always say that if he's wrong, you try and eliminate him. Why? Get him towards the truth. You will get more so off. If you get him towards you, they will use their intelligence for the cause of Islam. See, some people, if you know, like our beloved Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, he prayed out of the two Umar, may Allah be pleased with him, one of them, that let me, let one of them accept Islam, and Hazrat Umar, may Allah be pleased with him, he accepted Islam. He was one of the staunchest enemy of Islam. So why do you want to attack them? Try and win them over. That's important. So what do you have to do? You have to use a hikmah. If you retaliate, as you know, they are more powerful than us. Use your hikmah to win them over. Don't retaliate. Use your hikmah. What do you have to do? As the Quran says, Ta'ala ila qalmitin sawahim, bainan wa bainakum. Come to common terms, as for this asal use. Which is the first term, Allah na'amada illa Allah. That you worship none but Allah. The BJP, they want to get Hinduism in India. So tell them, if you want to get Hinduism, you read your scriptures. Your Hindu scripture says that Natasya Patima Asti of that God no images can be made. Tell them Yajur Veda Chapna Mutri was Sari to. Quote them from the scriptures. Quote them from the Gita. You ask for the Burhan, their Burhan is the Gita, the Vedas. Read the Vedas and see what common points are there between Islam and Hinduism. Don't go to the negative points. That comes afterwards. First come to the common points. Come to come in terms as between us and you. And if you read the scripture, that tells there are cassettes available, which I've given talks on, the concept of God in Christianity, Hinduism, and Islam. And you can prove from their Vedas about the concept of Tawheed, about the oneness of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. You win them over. Tell them that if you want to be a good Hindu, let's read your scripture and point out those points which are common between Hinduism and Islam. This way, you will be more successful. If you retaliate, you will not be successful. It will be difficult. Not that you will not be successful. When the time comes, that time we have to do. We don't have to sit quiet. But at present, I feel, it is the time of doing dawah. In India, it is the time of doing dawah. There are certain pillars that you have to follow. If you know that the first is the basement, that following the five pillars of Islam. Then comes the first floor, that make yourself good Muslims, make yourself a perfect Muslim etc. The second is Dawah. And third comes the Kamath Do you have in mind a particular way of Islam? So now I feel the time in India and Bombay is Dawah. If you do it in the right way, you will be successful. If you start doing like the politician, Ram me khuda and Allah khuda, you are going away from the Sirat al-Mustaqeem. Some people say Ram alayhi salam. <laughs> Where did mention Ram alayhi salam? So you have to use a hikmah, brother, and do dawah, and you'll be successful. Irrespective whether you're successful or not, brother. Quran says, Your job is to deliver the message. You have to do zikr. Whether they accept or not, you will get your reward. Our main purpose in this life, brother, upon the Surah Mulk, chapter number 67, verse number 2 is, that this life and death that Allah has given you is a test for the hereafter. You're living this life as a test for the hereafter. You have to utilize it to the best. Results live in the hand of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Hope that's the question. <laughs> and many a times I thank these people. See, these people, they help us many a time to get the Muslims together. The riots that took place in Bombay and India helped the Muslims to come to come together. Previously we were divided. Ye Deobandi and I Barevli and I Bori na is Shafi na is Hanafi. We are divided. When the riots came, Alhamdulillah we Muslims are united. But unfortunately, when the riots have passed away, Again the same fight has started. So sometimes I say that these people at least help us to follow the commandments of the Holy Quran. That hold to the rope of Allah and be not divided. We have to take the help of these people to come together. Hope that's the question. Assalamu alaikum. Wa alaikum assalam. My name is uh, Ali Saadi. I'm working in in the level as a manager. On the month of Shaban, when you came here, I read a statement made by you uh, regarding the questions, repeated questions that the non-Muslims always raise against Islam, and they are not more than 17 or 15, you said. 